New York streets and buildings are not just about brick and stone. They're about people. When you look down any street, you have to see a tableau which is not just architectural, but also human. I'm Christopher Gray, and I write the Streetscapes column for the New York Times. Out in the middle of Brooklyn, just steps away from the din of Flatbush and Church Avenues, is the oldest school building in New York, the 1786 Erasmus Hall Academy. You could just glimpse it through a big barred gate, but it's set in the middle of a grassy green courtyard. You could be at Harvard or Yale, but it's part of Erasmus Hall High School, a big donut of a building whose alumni are said to include Barbara Streisand, Mickey Spillane, Mae West, and Neil Diamond. When the academy was built by the Dutch families of the area, it was all farms and open land, just a few wooden buildings. The two-story building was huge for its time, but now it looks small, dwarfed by the giant high school surrounding it. In 1896, the trustees gave the academy to the city of Brooklyn, anticipating that a whole new public school would replace it. The first section on Flatbush Avenue has a big, chunky Gothic tower and a vast, elegant auditorium. It was completed in stages up through 1940. Several architects were involved, but it has a remarkable coherence. It looks of a piece. Around the corner on the other side of the block is the old Flatbush Public School No. 1, built in 1878. It's a moody, melancholy thing, with brick peeling off the front like somebody took a can opener to it. Down the street at another corner is Public School 6, built in the 1990s and designed by Grusen Sampton. Peter Sampton, a partner in the firm, says the picturesque, erratic skyline was meant to respond to the Ruskinian Gothic Flatbush Town Hall right next door. But it also has an uncanny resemblance to the work of George and Edward Blum on the Upper West Side. The oddly placed striping, the soldier coursing of the brick, and especially the small steel spheres within the window ironwork all recall the Viennese secession in New York. Schools like churches and firehouses are rarely seen together in the city. They're normally separated by several blocks or more. But in this case, with Erasmus Hall High School, you have two centuries of scholastic architecture, starting from the old academy structure from the 18th century and going up to the late 20th. 